Good morning guys, it's Sonya Miller and welcome back to our channel here on YouTube. Thank you so much for subscribing. It is a gorgeous day here in the Laurel Highlands, a great day to come to work and I cannot wait because the last vlog that we uploaded, I showed you part one of that monstrous hutch that we were, well, we were completely refinishing and so today's the day my friends. Let's get going and uh, make it beautiful. Get it done. Let's get it done. So if you follow me, you know not only do I love pretty paints, pretty papers, pretty things, but I love pretty napkins, okay? And so you may have been on one of my junkin travels recently where I scored these for like just like a buck or two a pack, all kinds of really pretty ones. And so I was looking through my napkin stash this morning and I kind of like narrowed it down to three colors because I'm thinking that this colorful piece needs a little bit of something something, you know, a little bit of a pattern to put on here. And so this is what I narrowed it down to, okay? We've got this blue and white, which navy would go gorgeous with this with a little bit of white highlighting this actually has some really pretty a pink that's very very close to the color so that would be like a totally different style I also love this as well because I'm a shabby chic distressed uh, lover and so something like this because it has the deepest pink into it would actually work but they would also give me three different looks and so now now the time comes where I think to myself what do I want to do so stay tuned and we'll figure out which one I pick and you can see the difference because up here I've antiqued it, I've created our own uh, black wax, tinsel wax, and you see the difference right here, the dark, the light, that's what happens, right? That's the difference. Yay! And since you saw it last, it's starting to come together, right? Take a look right here. Can you see as I trace out here, you guys know I give you a tip uh, with when you create your own black wax by combining our monkey shine with whatever shade of the pigments of the milk paint you want to use. In this case today I'm going darkening, you can see the top already looking well. And now I'm tracing out the bottom, okay, to bring it all together. So next up, we're gonna work this black wax in and she's gonna blend out and start to look like the top. So, heck yeah, it's a happening. Can you already see it shaping up here? So what I'm doing is using my monkey shine. I've laid down my black, so you saw all that out here, my black wax. Now I'm just taking my same clear wax and basically blending it and pulling it all over this piece. And guys, we are done. We are done. We are done. We are done. I am super excited to tip this camera up and share with you guys the big reveal of this big, beautiful hutch today, okay? We went totally crazy with color had fun with it now you're ready dun, dun, dun. and the heavens opened up and the angels began to sing look how gorgeous guys this turned out just finished our facebook live doing the grand reveal of this big beauty and i'm really happy with how it turned out of course you guys know we were trying to decide between which napkins to use i went ahead and did with the roses as you saw and i really like how it turned out because it uh, i did not paint underneath and if you look up close you can see like pinks right here that are the centers of those rosettes and so it blends in so beautifully and uh, i do love shabby chic so i decided to go this way and really just do a pop of color at the same time i also i I tend to be somebody like shadow in a lot of my pieces right like I like grungy time worn and so therefore I went ahead and did some antiquing inside as well on the different planks and so that way when the doors are closed you can really see the shadow inside and carry that over as well to the bottom down here so I'm not gonna bother to put the um, drawers back on doors rather back on here I'm gonna this week on my page work on using those to create some signs and repurpose with Friday and on Fridays in my coaching Create club behind the scenes I hang out with some lovely ladies who are rocking their business they want to learn how to design and paint better and then be able to sell what they make so on Mondays we talk business on Fridays like today we hang out and design together and I take all your paint questions I'm gonna go ahead and do this and work one of the do these doors from that piece I'm gonna use this in today's group and do a really fun effect on it so watch because in a moment I'll be back and this will be finished and we are done today I showed the ladies how to take it from 
white, plain, and boring, and used and abused to this really pretty welcome sign. And so we use that, using our napkins, we get it all done. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out, guys. All right, so one of the other things I have to do today is heading off to a, um, a paint session with one of my retailers that's about an hour from the shop. So, so much to do, but as we clean, Things are really starting to, to really, really look up in here. What do you guys think, yay? And look, lots and lots and lots and lots more boxes of paint. Thank you. Oh yeah, we gotta do some giveaways for tonight with our paint party with our ladies. So, that's putting some really fun colors in here. I'm not sure what colors you're gonna get, but gifts tonight for the ladies at the paint party. So much fun! Thank goodness I have some almonds to get me through my day. So it was cool that I got this hutch for free. I mean, put some baskets in here, and um, obviously, if I'm gonna do baskets, I'm gonna want to go with like a natural color, like a natural burlap sort of feel to, to blend in with the brown and the natural wood. You guys that follow me here in the vlog on YouTube know that I love to paint canvases in the evening because I can't get enough of painting, right? And so, and of course, it has to be whimsical and fun and uh, have lots of color and funness into it. So I'm having fun with these like positive quotes, the one and only Queen Bee. And so watch because I plan to have these available as well on some fun items um, on our website. So there you go. There you go. Pretty cool. So we've got black, we've got brown, and we have got our very, sorry, our very dance, I was gonna say, our berry dance, our very, very dance. Look at this guy over here. Now we have like two amazing colors in here, right? So this was the other hutch that we did this week on our Facebook page. So two hutches this week, holy moly. It was like the showdown of hutches. But I'm certainly happy with how it turned out. And also, if you wanna see this, we just knocked this out and I swear in like 15 minutes flat. I created this with just a little bit of napkin remnant that was left over on an old cabinet door that I think I got for like all of 99 cents. This is also a, um, a uh, tutorial as well that I have here on our vlog as well. Go back and look for that napkin DIY where you can see me um, work on those live and get the idea of how to do it. So this is also a napkin technique except I use a plain teal napkin. Go figure, teal's my favorite color. So, oh yeah, bring on the color, bring on the sunshine. Even if it's raining outside, coming into work every day and seeing this beauty will surely make me happy. All right, now you know what time it is. It's time to clean up my mess, head on for the day, and uh, yeah, get ready to brainstorm some more ideas for this week. Stay tuned because like I say, I've got lots of brownie frowning cabinet doors that need a smile too, so we're not gonna overlook those. All right, take care guys. And guess what, it is pizza day by the way here. There you go. Sharon's over there. I can smell it. She's got the grill going. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go and search and find something for supper. All right. Take care, guys. It's been eventful. It's been busy, but it's so been worth it. See you again soon for another upload. Take care. And thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you always get notified when we have more of these furniture vlogging adventures together. Take care.